Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater. It is a Thursday today, and like I said yesterday, I'm going to be here all day. It's probably not gonna be strenuous, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think it's gonna be like a chill all day kind of thing, but it's still gonna like, at least until 3, 3.30, I think, and it is currently just before eight now. So, should be great, but that's fine. I woke up this morning, I wanna say I had weird dreams again, but I think like, the biggest thing was just trying to get ready in the morning and my brain was not doing the most. <laughs> I like started packing my bag because like I mentioned yesterday, like I put everything out on my desk and so like I put a bunch of stuff in my bag and I was like, yep, that's done. And I like started to get dressed. I looked over, I'm like, there's still like four things <laughs> on, my on my desk that need to go in my bag. Like if that's any indication to the start of the day, I think it's gonna be a struggle. But again, it's fine because it's gonna be a chill struggle. <laughs> I've started transitioning to wearing Christmas scrunchies like officially now. So it's really adorable Baby Yoda one. I still haven't seen the Mandalorian. Um, but Baby Yoda's cute. <laughs> anyway, with that, I think I'm gonna have my breakfast drink and get the show on the road because the first staff member is due at nine o'clock. Normally it's like on Thursdays, my one coworker goes swimming or swim aerobics in the morning. She, so she doesn't get here till like 9.30 and then it's just her, but she canceled her swim aerobics this week for a plethora of reasons that ended up not going through. So she could have gone. Um, so she might be here at like 8.30. I don't know if she's coming in this week or not. Um, but more importantly, the techs are all here at nine because the show starts at 10. Well, the recording, anyways. I'm rambling now for no reason. I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink and just do the thing. Oh my goodness, I am home. It is like five o'clock. I got off at, I would say quarter to four. It was just like a long day. I was thinking that I could have picked up the camera at some point to vlog, but I could not. There were so many people in and out of the theater, socially distanced, of course, everybody wearing masks, so much sanitizing, so much cleaning and all that stuff. We were all good, but it's just like, <laughs> Basically today, every half an hour I had something to do uh, for like 15 minutes and then in between that I was sewing seat covers. So it was just, it was a really weird day where I was doing a bunch of different things, but that is okay. I am home now. My friend picked me up. We were gonna go for a walk, but the weather changed and honestly is just getting getting worse and worse out there. I think it's going to be kind of stormy tonight. Um, so we ended up just driving around for a while and then went to the grocery store. Exciting pandemic things. Um, my mom's boyfriend actually was supposed to be off today and he got called in to work. So he's at work. I am trying to find some ground beef because my mom and I are going to do nachos tonight. I found it. It's on the complete opposite side that I thought it was on. I'm gonna grab two packs because I do love me some leftover taco meat for leftovers. <laughs> Classic. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna get this defrosting and some cold water in the sink. That's probably really loud. Oh, look at me just leaving the entire deep freeze open. Okay, I see the reason why I couldn't close it. There we go. Okay, so that is one thing taken care of, which is nice. Um, I just feel I don't have anything to do, which is great, but I also partially feel like I have 8 million things to do, which is less great. I think I'm going to take this mask. My mom got it from her union, um, but this guy I work with has a mask similar to this and he really likes it. And so I guess I'll try to make one of these so that I can sell more. Also, my mom works with someone who was asking about one with and like one of the chin pieces at the bottom. And also somebody else was asking about, about a filter pocket, which honestly is something that uh, I cannot put an underneath chin thing on my mask pattern without making it overly complicated. And same with the filter, like I could probably put a filter pocket in it, but it would be a pain. So I think I'm just gonna deconstruct this. I do have permission from my mom also, this was just so and so terribly that I could just, you know, fix it anyways. Um, so I think I might deconstruct this one and then 
and make a pattern and then kind of see how we go. Oh, there's a lot of talking and moving. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do, my mom is on her way home shortly, um, so I probably don't need to cook dinner until closer to six. So I think maybe I'll try to deconstruct this and because I was just I was like I don't need to deconstruct it to figure it out but it would honestly probably make life a lot easier if I do deconstruct it so that and YouTube or something I guess oh and also oh geez okay it's been a day <laughs> we'll put you down there which isn't the safest it's a stack of fabric we just we know that there's fabric everywhere anyway so there's supposed to be a shipment at the theater tomorrow <laughs> And so my boss was going to come up and he like lives like an hour away from the theater He was going to come to the theater just to wait for the shipment I was talking to one of the tech guys and he was like, oh, you're working tomorrow. I was like, yeah, I am. He's like, okay Well, maybe you can wait for it. But the thing is is I've mentioned this before <laughs> the doorbell can only be heard from certain areas in the theater like three spots maybe two and like sometimes like if you're not in those areas you maybe will hear it so unfortunately most of my job does not take place in those couple areas and so I was like well yeah I can come like I'll be here so I can wait but like if I miss that doorbell I think it's for a lens for the projector I was like I what can I do and so <laughs> I talked to my boss about it and he's like, well, I'd rather not come up. So basically, I'm going to get there at 8 and I'm going to go sew because where the sewing room is, you can hear the bell from there. And I'm going to sew from 8 until either that shipment arrives or the tech director gets in at noon. So I'm just going to sit there for like four hours and then I still probably will have like two hours worth of work that I have to do. And so I was talking to my boss, I'm like, are you okay with me working like more than four hours? Because I've been like very carefully just trying to work four hours. He's like, you've only been working four hours? You can work more than that. <laughs> and so starting next week, I have three set shifts instead of one and um, plus production days or day after production day, whatever. So it's weird that as we're going to lockdown, Oh, well, like things are closing. I'm working more and we're a live theater. My boss says we're a production company now, so which we very much are. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. It's good. Get more money. That's great. <laughs> and um, I just hopefully the, the this side, the mask side and everything doesn't get out of control. But to that end, I'm going to tear this apart with a stitch ripper and um, watch something. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> It's real bad. <laughs> All I can say is yikes. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So I ripped apart that mask and even before I pulled it apart, I knew it was poorly constructed and just like pulling it apart made me, even, made, made that more apparent. It's like, like the pieces aren't even symmetrical with each other when they should be. <sighs> but anyways. I'm not using bias tape, so I can't reconstruct it the same way. So I think I figured out how to do it. I've got the liner part done, but I should have probably already sewed the nose piece in. Oh, I think I can still get that in. Um, and then I need to do the other part that isn't <laughs> the lining, the outer layer, and um, go from there. Yeah. So we'll see if this works. I'll probably modify the pattern a little bit. Actually, well, maybe I won't have to, but that's where we're at. I just had dinner, very exciting. I also sold some scrunchies and now I have two masks on order. So that's cool and exciting. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a little bit of my bed and I'm just gonna lay down for a bit because oh, today was a long day. And um, then I think I'm gonna need to, maybe I'll try to finish this mask and then I need to clean up a bit. And I have to invoice today too, like, Oh, Thursday, but it should be fine. I'm sure. Anyways, I'm going to go for now and just like do nothing for a bit and then hopefully I will be productive in a little bit. Hello, my name is Tiffany and I have spent more than the last hour laying in my bed doing nothing. Well, just watching YouTube videos. Uh, it's like just after nine now and I need to, like there are probably three, maybe four things I need to do tonight. One, I need to do invoicing. Two, I need to get together the scrunchies that I sold to one of my coworkers so I can bring them to work tomorrow. Three, I have to charge these headphones. I'm just thinking of like a much more important thing that needs to be on the list. I need to find my floor. <laughs> it is just so bad over here. Like just, just so bad, just, just, just so bad. That wasn't one of the original four. The last of the four was maybe I should shower, but I'm aggressive. I think, 
I'm gonna whip off invoicing here. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Fingers crossed it took me like an hour and a half last week. So we'll see. So I'm gonna do that and then probably try to clean up my room and I've already forgot. Oh, and the scrunchies. Yeah, because I can't get... So inside my bedside table, I have the scrunchie tags, which I cannot access. So invoicing, then cleaning this, then scrunchies, and then we'll finish the rest of these I can charge overnight. So yeah, I'm going to invoice now, and then um, just hopefully everything just goes nice and quickly. Um, hi, it's a uh, quarter one. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I did invoicing. I sent a couple emails. I have a croissant. My mom brought that to me at work earlier, but I ended up not taking my second break, so I didn't eat it. I have scrunchies and a mask for my breakfast buddy. She's going to come pick them up tomorrow. And then I also have another couple scrunchies that I sold to my work, my co-worker. So that's very exciting. Yes, uh, my bag is mostly packed for tomorrow, I think. It's just down in the corner. It never made it up there. I always hang it. The room got cleaner, but it's not clean. Um, but I feel mostly accomplished. I think tomorrow, I feel like there's something I need to do. My mom specifically said I could do it after work tomorrow. What was it? I got nothing. I still, I, I got dishes up there that I need to bring down. Anyways, I have no idea. I'm, I'm just gonna change into my PJs. I'm like halfway there. Got the, got the top going. I'm wearing pajama pants, but I think I'll melt if I try to wear them tonight. So I'm gonna change into something else. And yeah, just go, go to sleep. Should be good. Be grand. Be great. <laughs> Hopefully I can get to sleep quickly because like I have to be up in like six hours for work basically. It's fine um, And then yeah, I need to spend a lot of this weekend editing. I think I think the plan tomorrow will be to whip off those two masks um, Try another pattern similar to the one I tried today. Did I even mention it? I hated it so much <laughs> that I just brought it down to my mom. I'm like, I don't know if you want it. You can have it I'm not putting elastic in it because yeah, it was um part of the problem was the original mask had bias tape on it and I didn't want to do bias tape and so I should have made the seam allowances larger which I didn't and then it was just it was just not a well cut out mask so it was really hard to take the pattern from but I'm sure I can find something similar anyways I'm rambling and I'm just gonna go now so with that thanks for coming along today and I'll see you tomorrow oh when hopefully it's a little better <laughs> good night